What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Back here with another best class setup for Cold War Zombies. Today, you guys asked for it, so we're taking a look at the Milano. This thing deals so much damage, you won't believe what it does more damage than. For it being an SMG, it's high damage, low fire rate. Not really what you expect from the SMG category, but we're going to be breaking it down here with some stats, the best class setups, and some recommendations for your guys' playstyle. Without further ado, Top right into the video. Real quick before we get started, if you guys do enjoy vlogs and vlogging content, be sure to head over to Life of Pi Attach, link down below in the description for my vlog channel. Hope to see you guys over there, but top right in. First up, we're gonna be taking a look at the stats of the weapon. Just to let you guys know these are the stats on my best class setup, so your stats might look a little bit different, but this is with my class setup. Starting things off, 44 damage to the body, 209 to the head. And that is gonna end at triple pack gold tier, over 16,000 damage. Absolutely insane for an SMG. Moving on to the damage profile, we're doing a whopping 44 damage. Now, believe it or not, this is more than the Carve 2 tactical rifle. The Carve 2 in our best class setup, we've seen that it was doing 41 damage. The Milano here, 44. Next up, we have fire rate, 576 rounds per minute, which is pretty slow for the SMG category, as we've seen the Bullfrog doing upwards of 750. Next up, we have Bullet Velocity. This one is also on the lower end at 393.75 meters per second. Now, the fire rate and the Bullet Velocity might be a little bit slower, but the reload speed picks that back up with a 1.3 seconds. When comparing that to the Bullfrog at 1.7 seconds, the reload speed on the Milano is very, very fast. Now you aren't gonna have as many bullets starting with 55 rounds in a magazine versus when you're pack a punch, 103 rounds in a magazine. And lastly, for the movement speed, you're moving at 11.12 miles per hour at the exact same movement speed as the Bullfrog. Overall, I think the Milano is a pretty good gun. It does a lot of damage, it's great in Warzone. It doesn't shoot quite as fast, so if you guys like those high fire rate SMGs, this one isn't as forgiving if you are missing your shots because it doesn't shoot quite as fast, but it's definitely a fun gun to use and if you're on that dark ether grind. Now that we've taken a look at the stats for the Milano, we'll let's hop right into the My Best Class setup and some recommendations for you guys. Moving over here to the Gunsmith and the Creative Class setup for the Milano. For my field upgrade, I have the ether shroud right now. Run whatever you want on that, absolutely does not matter. Next, let's hop right into the gunsmith. So we got rock in here. For the optic, I don't personally run one. I think the iron sights on the Milano are pretty clean. However, if you did want to, go ahead, slap one on there. No problems there. Muzzle, we have the SOCOM Eliminator for increased equipment drop rate and the best vertical recoil control possible. Now this is gonna reduce your shooting wheel speed and your horizontal recoil control. Now if you wanted a muzzle with less cons but still have a good accuracy, I would definitely recommend the infantry compensator. You're gonna have plus 12% vertical recoil control, but you're not gonna get that increased equipment drop rate. However, that doesn't, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's just equipment, it's not salvage. Salvage is the big thing you want here. Moving over to the muzzle, I'm running the 10.6 inch task force barrel. This adds damage, effective damage range, Full velocity, however, your max starting ammo, vertical recoil control, and horizontal recoil control are diminished with this. That's where the SOCOM Eliminator comes into play to help out with that vertical recoil control. If you didn't want to handle all that recoil and you wanted something a little bit more laser-esque, less recoil, I would definitely go for the 10.1 inch reinforced heavy barrel. You're still getting in that effective damage range and bullet velocity, but you're not going to have the cons to your recoil. However, just know that you're gonna be doing 42 damage per shot instead of 44 with a 10.6 inch task force. Moving down to the body, we have the Ember Sighting Point for better increased salvage drop rate, which is a big plus, and better hip fire accuracy, as you've seen earlier in the gameplay. It's gonna be quite handy. For the under barrel, we want the Bruiser Grip. You could definitely go for the Field Agent Grip if you wanted to. If you want, we're using the task force barrel and you wanted a little bit better recoil control, highly recommend going for the Field Agent. If you can handle it, Bruiser grip it is. Here we are at the magazine, Salvo 55 round fast mag. This is gonna get you your most ammo and your fastest reload time at 1.3 seconds. However, with the magazine, you do have a 25% reduction to your aim down sight speed. Therefore, throw it on the airborne elastic wrap for better aim down sight time. You could just slap on the servant grip if you didn't want all the cons of the airborne elastic wrap. However, I think overall, the airborne elastic might be a little bit better but the Serpent Grip is a definite second place finish here in the handle category. And then lastly, for the stock, we have the Raider stock, bringing up our sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed while reducing our hip fire accuracy. That's why we also have the Ember Sighting Point on there to help balance that out there. 
So guys, that is my overall class setup here in Cold War Zombies in Season 4 for the Milano. Let me know what you guys are rocking on it. Are you even using the Milano? Let me know what your go-to SMG is right now in Zombies. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, tell your friends, tell your family, you know where to find me at iProPyTash, all my other social medias. That's Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube, all at iProPyTash. Go follow me at LifeOfPyTash, both on YouTube and Instagram for more lifestyle and vlog type videos. But guys, I'll see you next time.